Let's see if that'll focus. Houston Food Finder. I have to. Whenever you're opening a box online, like my address is right here. Don't, don't make make sure that's not there. I mean, you forget because you're exceeded the moment you want to do. It, you know. Anyway, this is the Food Finder box. That's some nice snowflakes. The Food Finder box. I think they're going to start doing them every like twice a year. They're doing them every quarter, but now they're doing them uh, twice a year. I think. This is my wife's box. She subscribes to the Food Finder stuff, but we both go, we both are luckily able to eat and digest food, so I hope it works. So, uh, some paper in here. Um, there's a. Uh, it comes with a bunch of different stuff. Sometimes it comes with like coupons and stuff like that. So, this is a coupon uh, Alamo Draft House. There, the one thing they did mention was that please open it quickly, don't leave it outside because there is a cookie in here. Honey Child. Uh, I'm assuming that's a baker or something like that. I'm walking in this. It's like a blind box and I'm totally walking in this blind. I don't know. This is the first time. I just opened it a few minutes ago and now I'm recording a video. So, Tom, Tom and Tom's Coffee. Steep two bags of dark roast coffee. Grains for three minutes and eight ounces of uh, water, hot water. It's always nice. Another cookie from Cake Fine Pastry, cakefinepastry.com. A nice cookie. It takes a lot for me to turn my nose up to a cookie. And that one looks good, so that won't, that won't happen. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, Open this one. I can find the opening. What is this? Spiced old fashioned. Oh, I wonder if it's that same place. There's a place that makes these modern vintage shop or fun products like modern vintage urban eats bistro. So this is uh I've had something similar to this. I don't know if it's the same company. You use this, you can make an old-fashioned uh, cocktail with whiskey, typically. And if it's any as good as the other one, this is nice. Okay. It's always fun to, to have something like that, a cocktail like that, this time of year or whatever. I'm wearing a hoodie because it's actually cool in Houston for a, a little bit. Got a little, nice little velour bag. So in here, something hard's in here. Ah! Oh. A uh, bottle opener. Visit Pearland. It's a city, an area just to the south of us. I think it's still considered Houston. It might not. I don't know. If you're from Pearland, don't come after me. I know people who live in Pearland, so that's fine. Anyway, I've got a little box here. Home Eats. Simplify your life. So these are all local Houston places. If I hadn't mentioned that before. And there is another thing to eat in here, a paleo brownie bite. This is made from rock, from the, and this is from the Paleolithic era, but still seems pretty fresh. It's nice. There's a lot of treats in here. Um, past times there's just been a bunch of coupons and like a dry good or something like that, but that's cool. I don't know what LR is, but they have a pin. RL. Maybe it's explained further. It's another one of those um, Alamo Draft House, Rainbow Lodge. I don't know where Rainbow Lodge is. It's on the north side of town. But there's $20 off. And then I think the rest is just like, yeah. So, Spice Girl Kitchen on Instagram, a recipe for Sweet and spicy butternut squash. That's nice. I like butternut squash. Ten dollars off your visit for roots tasting. This is what mostly this is what it is. So it's a craft house. Have a pint on us, West Alabama. Uh, agua gift card. A gift card. Ojo de ojo de agua. I don't know if that's focusing in. So that's nice. Underbelly Hospitality. 
So I guess they still do. Underbelly was a really good restaurant in Houston. It's now defunct, but I'm guessing they still have a, a an arm that does like catering or something like that. It's that time of year. Free dessert from BB's. BB's isn't that far from here. I've been there a few times. Um, Dak and Bop. Houston food plan. Enjoy your free Brussels sprouts or garlic. Bread. See, it's stuff like this where you go to. It'll make you go to the restaurant and then they'll give you something nice. It, it's it's nice. It'll make you go, but I mean, you'd want to go because the food is good. A lasagna house. I've never heard of this place. Um, you get a free house made of lasagna. Taco Cabana. Oh, he goes. Where goes Sushi? Sushi's one of the better, one of my favorite restaurants in Houston, Sushi. They have good um, everything, really. So, a gift card, and then. So, Hugo's, just a. Hugo's Care Call, and all of these places. These are really good. Um, Restaurants. Sushi is downtown, so if you live in Houston, <clears throat> if you're in Houston, go to Sushi. This one, really good restaurant. Backstreet Cafe, I've been there before. So these are all really good. I mean, that's all it is. It's just, it's a way to try out different stuff in Houston, all types of different food. In this case, there's actually food to eat, small cookies and things of that nature. I'm curious to get this, um, I'm recording this in the morning, so I'll do that tonight. I'll make a cocktail tonight. But, oh. The last thing is $20 Christie's Gulf Coast Seafood. Have I heard of that before? That's the other thing, yeah. Uh, holiday, yeah. So it's, it's a gift, another gift card, $20. That's the nice thing about it. You, you get to support Houston Food Finder, which is a local Houston. Um. <coughs> so the camera ran out, of course, when I'm trying to right in the middle, right, just before I was finished. So stuff in the box, really good Houston Food Finder. They do, um, if you support them on the Patreon at a certain level, they'll send you stuff twice a year now, I believe. So. If you're curious to see what type of stuff is in the box, it's usually stuff like this. It's a lot of coupons and stuff like that. So if you want to try out different spaces, they'll give you a lot of times you'll get a coupon from a place so you can try it out. So it's nice. It's a local thing too. So that was the box for the last part of 2020, I guess is how they're going to frame it.